I need a fucking ski mask. <laughs> and what's up, y'all? It's your boy Tim Vance. It's, the... it's your man. What's up, y'all? That's crazy. That's a smoke. That is crazy. Bro, so, it's gonna grand somewhere here, bro. <laughs> it's your boy Tim Bands, we a man of hundred grand. And we back with another episode. I'm wearing the same shirt and he wearing the same shirt. Cause we recorded this shit in the same day, we don't give a fuck, but it's all good. Uh, I swear to God, bro, don't let me don't let me be Dollar Wild. <laughs> hey man. This episode is about compulsive liars. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> So I done lied about shit this like uh, Incrimination Station. Incrimination Station, you heard? 10,000% I incriminated myself, bro, because it's like... Oh, Grant, watch what you say, please. It's like, why the fuck are you, you know, don't want to so-and-so when you're supposed to be so-and-so? Because okay. I want to be XYZ place. I don't give a fuck what you think. <laughs> and like, usually, usually, if I'm in a position where I should, I take the time to be like, oh, okay. I probably shouldn't be so and so if we're here, here, whatever. But no, nah, you and I had this talk earlier. Think about the shit you say before you say it. Sometimes, my nigga. If I'm going somewhere else and you're supposed to be somewhere, and I'm supposed to meet you, and I'm not there because I went somewhere else, that's on me. But if I'm drunk, right, that's still on you. Yeah, and I'll get over it. You made that decision, but. You might get over it, like you said, but they're not going to get over it because you made that compromise with that person that you're going to be in this place. But because you're drunk, it's still your responsibility to be at that place. But your self-inflicted damage has caused you to be somewhere else. That's why I keep getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck up on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you take a couple shots. Money not gonna matter. No, but that's the whole point, Grant. As men, we have to realize that self-infliction is a root cause of a lot of our problems because the simple fact we don't like to deal with our issues. Yeah. Not only saying just men, women do the same shit. But the issue is, as men, sometimes we hold our pride to an aspect where we're like, well, shit, yeah, I fucked up, but I ain't gonna let her know I fucked up. But yeah, I fucked up. I ain't gonna let him know I fucked up. We gotta. Sometimes you gotta let that shit go. Self-affliction is like 75% of the battle. The other 25% is like, yeah, I fucked up, but like, I enjoyed myself. So they'll, they'll be able to handle it. <laughs> and that's a terrible mindset to be in, but it's now, human. I hear you. It's a terrible mindset, but life is short. You got to live life to the fullest. But as you're living life to the fullest, be ready to accept the consequences that come with it. Yeah. Oh, I want to. Go ahead. Come on. What you got? You're supposed to no be. Diddy. You're supposed to be somewhere right. at X Y Z time, right? And you go do something else that's not aligned with that first activity. Trigger. Continue. I'm going to get drunk. I'm supposed to be somewhere else, and I don't get there in time. And they're like, "Yeah, I went home." And I'm like, "Damn, why'd you go home?" But whole time, you've been waiting. 10, 20 minutes communicate that you've been waiting for this amount of time. So I need to at least be considerate enough about the fact that you've gone out of your way to see me. It's a recent story. That I'm not going to just, it's you a, know. It's a yesterday story. Nigga, it was a less than 24 hours ago story. I know, but Grant. So, with that <laughs> stuff. Nah, it's all good. You can talk. I'm picking on the pizza still. You picking on the pizza still. But the thing is, so I'm going to help you on this. If you tell as men. As men, they already think we ain't shit. Let's be real. As men, the only thing we have is our word. I said all my way. No, listen, and I listen, like stop. An hour later. Grant. As men, all we have is our word. So either you can bullshit your word to make it make sense, or you can be about your word and actually be about it. If you can't bullshit your word, if you can't be about your word, you need to figure out how to bullshit your word and be about it. I feel like most things that I do, I'd rather just be able to bullshit. And like, if I'm saying I can be with you from nine to twelve, okay. and I'm I'm usually free from seven to twelve. Okay. Now I have two hours that I can just you know chill. 
But if I'm giving you the, oh yeah, I get off at 6.30, I'm off at 7, and now you give it from 7 to 12, and then from 7 to 9, I'm just drowsy as fuck. You're not getting the whole me. You're just getting... Oh, so, I, I get it. I've been in that predicament. There's a certain limit of energy that you're willing to give towards a person. Is that liquor? No, it's just tea. <laughs> <laughs> just tea. There's tea from Popeyes? Yes. Sweet. <laughs> There's a certain limit of energy that you're willing to give to it. I, I understand where you're coming from. You need that decompression state. If you're if oh you're if you're working, God. I know. Hold on. If you're working, no matter what it may be, if that whatever you're doing is a burden on you, you need that moment where you can take a step back and be like, "All right, please. I'm calm. I'm cool. I'm collected. <laughs> now I can deal with someone else." From, if from, a person can't give you that decompression state, then you need to explain to them, "Hey, I need to step away from everything right now." I need to have my moment where I can breathe. Not, I understand I fuck with you, but even though I fuck with you, I still have to deal with my own shit that I got going inside, and I don't want to put all this on you, so I still need my moments where I can breathe. 11, 11. It don't take much. What? <laughs> 11 hours, or 23 hours into the day, and 11 minutes, 11, 11. However, anyway. What? It's 11, 11 p.m., bro. I, I started thinking. It's 11 p.m., bro. It was. Could be. I'm about to go home. I don't fucking remember now, bro. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that shouldn't have been that deep. <laughs> Nobody can see the time but you, nigga. If you said, oh, 11 11, and it's later. Make a wish. Yeah, you, the motherfuckers, will do that. If you said 11 11. All right. <laughs> I don't know, predominantly it's just I'm not gonna just keep trying to adhere to some shit that's not the line of me. That's pretty much what you're saying, so Yeah. So don't continue to deal with somebody else's bullshit. So, with that exactly, as soon as I said it, you got it. A woman is not gonna continue to deal with your bullshit if you're not prepared to suffer the consequences. Yeah, I mean, most people, most women that I've met that are dealing with dumb ass shit are in extremely great places for themselves. They've gotten their degree. They've okay. done what they need to do. But they mess with somebody that they feel is good enough. They make them feel happy enough. Because most niggas don't got game. Most niggas around to make somebody feel like they're valued or whatever. But just talk to somebody like you actually care about them and most people don't have that. So then when you get that and you come at it with the social culture we're in today, all you get is a whole bunch of just... Uh, yes, man. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah, I tell you, you get a whole bunch of yes, man. You get a whole bunch of people that are, oh, because I saw this post. Oh, do this for your girl this day and she'll feel special. Niggas going to do that and they're going to feel like, oh, they're one up in the next man because they see that on social media. I got media. her flowers, but she's still not fucking me. It's like, <laughs> yeah, bro. Have, have you talked to her today? Have you oh, have y'all had a conversation? Oh, thank you. You opened up the pathway and I'm here for it because I forgot about it. Thank you. Hey, niggas. Just cause y'all buy her flowers, just cause y'all take her on dates, you have to you have to have that conversation with her. Are y'all something or not? Because at the end of the day, we're all human <laughs> beings and we're all looking for the upper hand. Not even if it's the upper hand. We're all looking to be treasured. We're all looking to be wanted. We're all looking to be put in that higher standard where we feel good about ourselves. We know that you're making us feel good and that makes you feel good. So at the end of the day, everybody's okay. I don't know if I but, talked about this last week what or you got? whatever the podcast week was. Hey, we all twisted up now. What you got? But just like... Go ahead. Finish. No, Grant, you can't stop me mid fucking. Do you remember what it was? No. I don't need. You stop me mid bread. I don't need. <laughs> I started, they wasn't finished. But I mean, all in all, it's just talking about how you know you try to get with somebody and you try to just be all in, and then it turns out that you're all in for somebody that's not really all, all in. in. Bad. Mm, I've done that. I've done that, 
on both aspects. I put my all into someone who wasn't giving me everything I wanted or everything I needed. And I've also been that person that's, I know I've done that for a person and still I didn't feel that way. You know what I mean? I don't know how to feel when I'm usually like, so I've grown up being attractive, but now I'm like, I'm fucking hot. So. You're what? I'm mm -hmm. hot. Okay. So when somebody says some shit to me or that does act a certain way, like I get shots bought for me now. That's, okay. That's that's mm. different. That's new to you? That's great. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that just some stuff is just, you know, a matter of um not so much who you're with, but how you make them feel. Um that's how you carry yourself. You're, you're absolutely right. We talked about the in-betweeners episode and like how sometimes you with somebody and after my last breakup, I asked somebody, it felt great. We went to a couple, um, we went to Liquid and it was fun, but it just, it didn't feel like shit. And other times it's felt like, God damn, why didn't I meet you 10 years ago? I'll be glad when you get over this shit, but I'm gonna let this shit slide. About fucking uh, Liquid? No, this last breakup. That's, I only been in like, Two or three I know, but this last one hit you, and I'll be glad when you get over this shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm straight. I mean, that sounded like bullshit. We had some closure, so I mean. Fuck her. Fuck the closure. You need to move on. It ain't fuck her. I mean, shit was. My point, exactly. My fucking point. Shit was fuck. I mean, whatever happened, happened, but I'm not. Fuck her. Fuck the closure. I'm not staying up. Don't come back to I'm my not job. staying up late at night trying to see what she posted. I'm yeah, not watching are. the stories and nothing like that. You know? It's just. <laughs> it is what it is. And shit hurts a lot in the moment, but you got to be able to recognize that no matter how much. Oh, <laughs> nah, bro. These niggas that see me coming to work every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, talking her. about. Yeah, bro. I feel exactly. like exactly. I'm sick of it. Pull it's, me up. It's just this. It's just that. <laughs> That's crazy. And you working over there, cuz I don't know. I'm working and I'm drinking. Yeah. Pull me up. I'm just, I'm, just waiting waiting shot, they, they, I'm just waiting on y'all to introduce me so I can shut all this emotional ass shit down. <laughs> oh, we got an input. Hey, man. Hold on. Let me check the camera. Oh, we good. So we got our second guest ever, and he wants to give input on. How you feel you should handle... Because y'all are crying me a fucking river over here. We crying you a river. Absolutely. So when it comes to a relationship, how do you feel that you should handle someone that is... Y'all need a fucking wireless mic. We, we need a wireless mic? Come yeah. on, jump in. What you got? No homo. Nah, you good, man, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Go ahead. My man, honey, great. What? Hey, man, listen. <laughs> The, big, the biggest part of this is this, right? People are not understanding regular connections. As a, like in, in regards to not relationships, but just having somebody who also is a, exists and you're also just vibing with them. You struggle with shit, they struggle with shit. You're just going through day, life, whatever. You're thinking, you're thinking too deep. You're thinking too deep. That's regular connections. Right? What's the regular connection? So listen, right? Did... Alright, so... Think about three women, right? That you have been somewhat interested in, dated, whatever, whatever, in the past 10 years. Right? Perfect. Think about three women. Just three random women, right? How many of them like hot sauce? Three out of three. Three out of three, <laughs> right? How many of them liked car rides? Three out of three, but two out of three like oysters. You feel me? Raw oysters. Listen, so it's the littlest things that builds the connection with people. Because you go out with that third person that don't like fucking oysters, you try to order. Right. So like what y'all are doing is, right, and not just y'all, but what a lot of people are doing is they're looking at whatever experiences that they see, not what they've had. And they're going on a general basis. They're like, oh, well. Women like this and women like that, and you should treat a woman like this, and you should do blah blah blah. But guess what? That third shawty don't like fucking oysters. I think <laughs> she don't. So don't go with the oh, uh, you know what? 
I'm gonna bring all I, I, every woman that I get, every yeah. woman that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I bring her oysters. I agree. I think it's just social theory. Like you got to actually be able to talk to somebody and recognize them as an individual, as opposed to somebody that you've been with before. And it goes into the past podcast conversation. It goes into the new relationships, but from dating, if I'm meeting somebody new, if I'm just having friends. Absolutely. You're not who I dated. You're not who I met before. You are Ariana, whoever the fuck I met. Right. You are that individual. You. Exactly. That's it. And a lot of times, because you're so hurt, you're just trying to avoid what you've been through before as opposed to finding what you actually like. Absolutely. So you got to be honest with yourself about what it is that you like, what it is that you want, what it is that you don't like. So now, when you have all ten of these niggas that's bringing this girl flower, guess what? It's only one nigga who's actually cracking. I, I was, <laughs> and but, guess what? He probably did not bring her flowers. I like weird shit, bro. And like for the one joke that's like really big on baddies and like a lot of more material shit, mm -hmm. that weird shit may not click. But the one she bartended, she bought a girl on the weekend, and she also watched like and like. That may be more appealing to her. So one thing is just find people that match your spiel. Right. But also just like don't force something because you like a certain aspect. Please follow through with every certain or every possible factor that you can deal with. Like if you like a nigga, you like a girl and he's a, he or she is attractive. Then you're worried about they're going to cheat. You're worried about they're going to not like the same shit as you. Investigate that. Once you do that and you find that they're not what you want them to be, mm -hmm. then you got to let them go because it's like, fuck, they don't like what I like and I'm not willing to compromise this. So I have to let this whole shit go. Find that shit up from the beginning before you even get that crush in your head. Absolutely. People get crushes be cut off of, you know, they got thick thighs, they got big ass titties. Like, no, have a crush based <laughs> off of. Something that will really, like, that will literally no. crush you. I'm coming in on this one. Big, Listen, th like, big thighs and big titties ain't always the fucking no. necessity to anything. I done met some fine woman who got it all who ain't worth shit. Listen, what does your bathtub look like? <laughs> My Please. Shit. That's a great you know what I'm saying? question. Because what like, does your bathtub when you, look when like? When you look at a nigga that's like on some... Oh yeah, I pull up on Saturday night. You're not gonna see the tub. You're not gonna see the. You're shit. not going to see none of that. They, they, they don't got no soap. They only got you feel me. The, the water filling that show back up. <laughs> like no, bro. Here this shit. Know. This shit that you care about. It's your house. Why do you not care about that for somebody that you want to possibly father your kids? Because when you're having sex with somebody raw. That's a possible father to your kids. Absolutely. So, like, when you fuck with somebody, just reevaluate that kind of shit. Like, me now, I don't like nobody that's going to be mean to my, my people, my family, my friends and stuff. If you automatically going to be combative every fucking thing I say, you're not going to make it with my dumb. mama. Like, yeah, you're, dumb. You're, you're never going to get that. You're never going to get that. Ever. So you just got to be able to, you know... Tap into that scene and say, "This is my opinion. This is how I feel." But I respect you as the matriarch of the family. I respect you as whatever. Most people don't have that because they have, oh, I have this accolade. I should be able to X Y Z. But the thing is this, right? It, it, it comes down to, it comes down to a general like level of respect. So regardless of what's coming, like the example you just gave, like, all right, well, yeah, if you are a certain way, like you're never going to meet my mother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, when it comes down to that, you have to know already whether that's somebody that can actually meet your mother or not. Before you even start. Before you even get there. Before you bring her to the family cookout, you need to know already, like, hell no, nah, ain't no fucking way I can bring her over there. I feel like there's some things that I know will make me want to just at least introduce you to my No, mom. And no. some things that will make me feel like you can't meet my mom. Listen, if it's raining, it's raining. It don't matter that it's hard rain, light rain, scattered rain. I think that's... Go. So if, if, if it's raining, it's raining, right? 
It doesn't matter whether you need an umbrella or whether you need a light jacket or whether you could just thug it and just walk out there, you know what I'm saying? Do what you gotta do. Regardless, it's fucking rain. If really Don't measure it. It's rain. If Shawty is, if you see she's a combative woman, right? And I'm just giving you the example to yeah, what you yeah, If you see she's a combative woman, it's not the woman that needs to be around mother. I feel like if you have strong willed theories about life, but you and my mom both have strong willed theories about that particular topic, that's nuanced. No. You feel me? Like like my mom don't don't like um big uh big meat. Like she don't like big <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? Like what like, is happening? Like like, what is like, happening? like like big meat manufacturers like you know <laughs> what? Big, like big steak, big shit, whatever try and push the capitalist right, 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 right. agenda. I thought what you what you just said, Jamal, no, I didn't. <laughs> then it's difficult to move forward somebody that also adheres with that similar mindset. But if you and your mom and your girl all agree that veganism is the best, mm-hmm. It'd be a lot easier. Guess what? That still doesn't mean she needs to meet your mom. Right? Because are you are, are you are you looking for a woman to be a companion to your mother? No. I'm, all right. No. So all I need you to do is be respectful when you're in her presence. Right? It's not necessarily about what y'all have in common or any of that because you're not fucking my mom. You're not dating my mom. You're not gonna be with my mom. But you have to have that level of respect to where it's like, all right, that's mama. That becomes a larger, Done. that becomes a larger conversation if you're dating somebody that's not within your culture. So if you're used to your woman cooking every Sunday, you go to church, you come home, mm-hmm. dinner's made. Mm-hmm. But if you with somebody new and you go to church, whatever you chill, do your religious thing, and you come home and they're mm-hmm. used to just being on TikTok the rest of the night. So now that that comes back to you, right? Because the first time that happens, that's a choice for you. All right. Am I going to get her to become that type of woman or am I going to let that part of me go? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, no, no. Hey, that's, I ain't going to say who he's talking about. Like, I know who he's talking about. That's like. it. It's, it's, uh, it's, yeah. Listen, everybody, uh, look, yeah. everybody makes the mistake of making shit so like cookie cutter. Not even that. Like they, they, they no. It, it just be extreme. Like it's really that simple. It's simplistic. You have that choice. Is it okay? Am I going to mold you into the type of woman that's going to cook dinner every Sunday when I get, or well, when we get home from church? Because now you got to go to church with me if, if that's what I'm working towards. Yeah. And I got to get you accustomed to cooking dinner after that. But guess what? It's either I'm going to go through that and try to get you to become that woman. Now she could choose to be that or she could fight it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a whole nother, that's part two of that. But the first choice has to be, all right, what am I going to do? Now the ideal choice will be the woman that's like, hey, are you going to church Sunday? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, what you want to eat after church? And then now you're going to be like, oh, shit. So <laughs> I got mean, one. I got one. This Montana, is it. Montana, what you're mm-hmm. saying is the woman that you want is the one who can jump what you're thinking before you can even think. No. Okay. It's not a jump what you're thinking. It's a woman that is already that. Take initiative. It's not the initiative. Like y'all y'all going into the higher steps of it. No. Like you have to, that's why I said, you got to see what a chick bathroom like. What's your bathtub look like? But that's more of a what do you need versus what do you want kind of. That's not that neither. It's very simple. It's listen, bro, you might, let's say, Okay, boom, right? And this is this is some some weird shit, but all right, everybody else in the house got their shoes off except for Grant right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Black me flat, bro. I'll be flat out. But everybody in the spot got their shoes off except for G. Right now, what happened was I still had my shoes on, and I'm like, shit, everybody took their shoes off, right? And I never paid attention to what G was doing, but I seen the other people that's in here. I'm like, oh, but shit, let me take my fucking shoes off, too. I could have made the choice to be like, nah, I'm going to keep my fucking shoes on. But, right, but listen, I'm the type of person to where that's something that I do at my spot on the regular. So I'm already accustomed to that, right? Now, if we all turn around and we like, G, 
Hey man, why the fuck you ain't take your shoes off? I don't right? Now it. next week you probably will take your shoes off. You be saying them out like shit. Right? Now you go four <laughs> weeks past that, and then you probably gonna be, oh shit, I forgot to take my shoes off. Because that's not something that you do on the regular. So it's like do 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 now if it's if it's a, if it's my choice. Do I want to consistently get you to a point where you take your shoes off when you walk in the door? Or do I want to just say fuck it and just like G do what they want to do? But I guess the conversation is like if I'm dating somebody, mm -hmm. a lot of time it's not do you take your shoes off. Those conversations are more like um what do you want to eat, you know? See, that's the part. It's not a conversation. It's what you notice about the person. You ain't even got to speak that. So this is why I said, that's why I gave the reference of the bathtub. You need to be inside of someone to the point where you know, you you are, you can recognize what it is. You need to be inside. So do you think that somebody can just have a, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Somebody can just have a nasty bathtub and not get to it that day and then still have that mindset where it's like, fuck. Like, no, it's not that day. It's, it's a, it's a repetitive type thing. You need thing. to pay attention. It's what you, pay attention to who people are. Yeah. That's 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 the that's the bottom line of it. You have to pay attention to who if people are. If you notice her bathtub is dirty in the first week, and then by the fourth or fifth week, it's still it's dirty. dirty. You just you just a dirty person. Yeah. If, I, if I meet it's you in week one, your bathtub clean as fuck. Week two is not, but week three and four is clean. I'm like week two. Something now happened. guess what? Something happened, you paid and it threw it off. There we go. In reference to me walking in, and I'm like. <laughs> I gotta realize that everybody's shoes is off. But similar to our trust conversation, yeah. that takes time. I can't, yeah, I can't, it does. I can't see that you fuck up your house over a week or you do this after this amount of time if I don't give you X amount of time. Right. If you don't get if you don't get that time in that space. But yeah. what you what you have previously stated is you don't allow that time to develop. Mm -hmm. you Personally, have, I don't know. Right. But the issue is, in order for you to develop anything serious, you have to allow that. You gotta that you gotta time. you gotta have that time you to have get to in allow it. That time. Because if not, then now you are looking at it from a outside perspective. You only see the Saturday girl. The Friday night girl, the whatever. So she looked good, she smelled good, her hair done, oh, shit. toes done, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I swear to God. Now on Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? When it's like, hey, well, let's just do something chill. Let's just blah, blah, blah. And Hell then yeah. it's like, all right, now are we putting ourselves in another Friday, Saturday position? Or now we're going to do something more intimate. Now, if we do something more intimate, like, who are you for real? If everybody knew me as the. Friday night, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. I'd be fun for a couple weekends. <laughs> exactly, that's the whole point. That's and then the that's it. Point. After that, I'd be like, "Bro, this nigga's crazy. What the fuck is this nigga talking like, about?" What's the after whole hours yeah. again? I'm trying to go to sleep. Right. But whole time, I can make a night where you're in bed by twelve right. still an amazing night. So you have to develop something deeper beyond the point of oh, late night. Because oh. if not, that's all they see. We work this lifestyle. It fucking sucks. It does. It does. Because guess what? Guess what? Guess what we all see? Friday night, Saturday nights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That so nigga, it don't matter. It don't matter. What year. You feel me? It don't matter yes. what, what day of the week it is. Like, that's what we experience. So it's always a, uh, 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 it's always a character. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not the one who's writing the story for real. It's always the character. That's what we see on the most part. Facts. The 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 the, the Friday money bag, Saturday money bag. It's not like right. It's Tuesday they eat noodles. Money. No, you're, 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 you're <laughs> Wednesday. You feel me? They was outside like this all weekend. <laughs> Tuesday they eat noodles all for the rest of the week we <laughs> until the paycheck hit again. We pop hey. bottles on Tuesday. I'll about to say. Hell yeah, we. we but that's what I'm saying. Like, what's <laughs> in the background? You feel me? Like, we, like, we, we, we we do that shit on the regular. So for like us. For us it's seeing all, those people outside doing that, right? For us, we like, bro, that don't impress us. Like, exactly. we get together on a Monday and be like, bro, like, nigga, you 400, wish. 500 at the bar. Let me pull it full circle. Let me pull it full circle. Which is also why I feel like we realize when those hereditary liars are out, we're used to seeing everything. So when you try to come full circle and be like, yes. hey, I can buy this, do this, do that for you. Hey, we seen all this shit. That's it. We do this shit on a regular. Because your so bathtub's we, still dirty. Your bathtub's still dirty. <laughs> your bathtub's still... Your, your shoes clean. You know what I'm saying? The heels look good, but with the toes done, but your what? bathtub dirty. What? If you got... You want to... 
No, we want the container. What container? Oh, that one. Oh, that container. Yeah, yeah it's water. <laughs> don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself. Please don't do that to yourself. Uh, but Mont uh, Montana. <laughs> That's wow. crazy. That, that is, is crazy. crazy. Just cause you Montana, we appreciate yeah. you coming in on this episode, man. Absolutely. You already know what it is. It's the oh, 11, 12, 13. It's somewhere up in the teens, god damn it. I hope it's, right. I hope it's 12. 13, 13. I think it's 12. If it's 13, delete it. I think we it's gotta 12. delete this. I think it's 12. If it's 13, delete it. It's 12. It has to be deleted. You don't like 12. 13? No, it can't be 13. You don't like number 13? It can't be 13. Why? Nothing 13. I think Absolutely. It's 12. What's your favorite like number? Seven? Favorite? One. One? My favorite one. one. Seven. I fuck with that. One. I can see that. My favorite number is probably like eight. Eight. I love eight. Understood. Y'all leave me with a lot of shit to edit and like voice match and all this shit. Oh my God. It's crazy. Hit me. I'll be there. I'll be at my job doing project management and project management. I'll be at my job. Are we are we at that time already? Is that what's happening? That's why you kicking us off, Tim? Yeah. Yeah, we 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 done been at it for a minute. He feeling it too, bro. I'll be feeling it and he be like, Right. Cause I ain't need get I ain't need get a chance for me. I ain't need get a chance to put you in the hot seat. Yet. Oh, you want to put me in the hot seat? Hold on. I ain't need put this let nigga in the hot seat. What you want? Let me no, check I'm the camera. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let me check the camera. I ain't fucking with you today. Too. Oh, all right. Yeah, but, y'all can talk, bro. I got like it. I said, it's your man. I almost said Tim Grant. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wild part. That is crazy. It's your man, Tim Bass. Oh, man. This is hey, awesome. man. Love a grand, man. Love a grand. Love I don't know what you've been doing. Hey, with go ahead and say your name so they know who you are. Who? You, me? Nigga? Please. Oh, dude. man. I'm just me, man. I'm on. It's your man, Montana. That's two it. Um, make sure y'all like, uh, subscribe, hit the bell notification, do everything you All gotta that. do. Um, and hit us up for what you need. I'm coming back once a month. Please do that. Reset these <laughs> that work. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta read. I gotta hit the reset button on these two motherfuckers. It ain't wild. Hey man, but we appreciate y'all watching. Everybody, we love y'all. Love always. And keep watching, man. We love y'all. Um, mistakes were made, so we're going to keep telling y'all what mistakes we made. And, and I'm going to keep making again. mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way to keep the podcast alive. Peace. <laughs> love you That's it. All bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weight right there. It's a light right there. It's paper.